Hey photo friends, what's up? Phil here. Right now I am doing this week's photo challenge, which is converging lines. So I've found a couple things in my downtown area that they're converging lines, but, and they're somewhat of an abstract, neat photo, but I'm looking for something more with the specific subject where those lines converge. I really like the photo uh, example that Will posted. It's a photo of Sam actually. So I'm looking for something like that, um, that is more than just lines converging, but has more of a story behind it. So I'm gonna walk around and see if I could find anything that fits that bill and I'll bring you along. So I made my way over to the local skate park, which has a bunch of cool railings and then of course, uh, the ramps themselves that provide some nice lines that could potentially turn into some converging lines. So I tried to put myself at a place where the lines of the rails all converged into a, the center point. And I waited for a subject like this one here to come through and actually uh, make their appearance in, <laughs> in the frame in the middle of where those lines converged. So you can see me trying to get a few of those shots there. Here's a shot where it's not so much of a the lines converging into one place, but there are lots of lines converging and then we've got a subject in the middle, which I thought was kind of cool. Here, all of the lines are converging around the subject, sort of framing the subject, even though they're not necessarily leading lines to our subject. I really like this one, uh, just the lines that are uh, sort of from the ramps uh, across the way. They go up and down, sort of converging to where these two people were. Here's another one where the shadows of the fence itself and then the actual skate rails um, are sort of converging and framing our subject. Uh, here's another one uh, just with all the lines I thought was pretty cool too. And then I made my way home and <laughs> there's this Christmas tree decoration that is always up. They don't light it most of the year except around Christmas time and the holidays. But the strings of lights made a perfect convergence to the star at the top. And then this last one, a neighbor of mine has this windmill and lots of converging lines here as well. So I was surprised walking through the neighborhood that I found some very specific things that actually do have converging lines. I want to show you how in Lightroom you can quickly use the upright tool to make some of your lines perpendicular or horizontal if you want. You can see in this photo that the original sh shot was a little bit cr tilted. And so if I take my upright tool, which is under the transform option, it turns your mouse into this little line drawer. And what you want to do is just pick the lines in your frame or in your photo that you want to be horizontal and perpendicular. So I like to use the ones that are on the outside of the photo as much as possible, like this railing right here. We're going to go perpendicular right there. And then we're also going to pick one of the lines of this railing over here. And as soon as you smack down two, you can see that the photo starts to warp. Now, if you have people in here, it might start to look a little wonky. So I'm going to pick this line right around here near our subject, which I think will kind of fix that up. And then also this one, it's hard to see, but it's a little crack in the, the concrete. You can choose to constrain the crop, which I like to do. And then I might even go in here in the crop and just crop up so we're not so close to that guy's head. Something like that's nice. And clicking that constrain crop button is nice because it doesn't allow me to accidentally crop outside of the edges of this photo. I used it in a lot of these photos to make sure that these lines were more perpendicular and it's just not as jarring for the viewer. So well, I hope this video helped you understand my process for this week's weekly challenge of converging lines. 
I hope to uh, see your work in this week's challenge, and we do these challenges every week. So if you're not already a part of the Photography and Friends student community, you have access to it as a member of our courses. You can find out how to access it in the lesson at the start of the photography course that you're in. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in another video.